Hi there, I'm Kathleen McGivern and I'm Ms. Artastic and in this drawing episode we're going to be drawing one of Santa's elves. Perfect for the upcoming holiday season. Now if you have been subscribed to this channel, if you're not, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get ready for the next episode, which of course is our favorite person during the holiday season. I wonder if you could guess who that might be. Anyway, if you've been if you've been subscribed, you might notice that we've been doing special episodes this past few weeks, where instead of drawing for the alphabet, which we've been doing for the last little while, we are instead drawing some special holiday and seasonal drawings to get you ready and excited for the upcoming holiday and Christmas season. So in this episode, we're going to be drawing a lovely elf. And as usual, my artist friend, grab your choice of art making mediums and colors and let's make some art. Alright, so we're going to begin by drawing our elf's hat. Okay, so we're going to draw a rectangle. So we're going to draw one line across, two short lines down, and another line to connect and make a rectangle. Next, we're going to draw a big curving line on the top of the hat. And then we're going to draw another curving line from the other side up, around, and connect. Draw a circle on the end of the hat. We're going to draw some elf hair and you can use any kind of line to draw hair because hair comes in all sorts of colors and textures and shapes. I just did wavy lines, but you could do zigzag lines, you could do curly lines, whatever you would like for your elf hair. We're gonna draw an elf face, so one line down that curves up, around, and to the other side like one big letter U. We're going to draw some elf ears. So we're going to draw some elf ears with some pointed lines up and back to the head. One curving line up, back to the head. And you can draw a letter C inside the ears for ear texture. We're going to draw a little elf body. So we're gonna draw a circle under the head. Two lines down from the head and connect across. We're gonna draw two curving lines up for some arms. Two lines across. Two lines back down for the arms. And then we're going to draw two lines down towards the bottom of the page. We're going to draw circles down the body or down the shirt for buttons. We're going to draw straight lines across for cuffs on the jacket or shirt. And then we'll give our elf mittens. Now when we think about it, our thumbs are towards the body. They face the body no matter what way we do it. So we're going to make sure our mittens are facing, our mittens thumbs are facing the body. So we're going to do uh, one big curve, leave a space, little curve for a thumb, back to the body, up with a big curve, 
little curve from the thumb back to the body. On the face, a little nose with a letter V or a sideways triangle shape. We're going to draw two eyes, so we're gonna draw circles and then color them in until we have just a little bit of white left. And then we're gonna draw one big wide smiley face. So we're gonna draw one long curved line and we'll add little corners of our curved lines in the corners just to give it some character. All right. We're gonna get ready to color. So you can go ahead and find any art mediums you would like to use to color with. And we're going to color our elf with your choice of elf colors. All right, here we go. I'm going to use a, um, actually maybe I'll do a red elf outfit. All right, I'm gonna use my red and, ooh, that one's not so good. <laughs> Try again. I'm gonna use my red felt marker to color in my jacket first and I'm going to leave the top here just a little bit white. And remember when we're coloring, we're going to make sure we go slow and color in all that white between the lines that we have drawn. We don't wanna leave any white there. Unless we're of course leaving some highlights, that is where, for example, where the light is hitting, it's lighter, but where there's no light, it's darker and it's a shadow. So even my own hand, it looks like it has light areas and dark areas just because of the lights that are pointing on them right now while I film this video. But you'll notice that when you are going outside and the sunshine is reflecting on you, you'll notice that you have shadows and highlights on you as well, just from the light. I'm going to use that same color on my hat and I'm going to leave some white only on the top for highlights. We don't want any, we don't want our hat to look like this, right? So we want to make sure that we take our mark making medium and we're going to go and be careful to color it all in so we look prof like professional artists. I'm going to find some other Christmas colors such as green. That's a lovely Christmas color. And red and green are complementary colors. So they go well together, like peanut butter and jelly. Okay, I'm gonna put green on the cuffs and collar. gonna use some yellow. Yellow reminds me of a Christmas color because it reminds me of the color of bells or other little ornaments, gold ornaments. But you don't have to use yellow. If you don't like yellow, you can pick whatever color you would like to color with in your details. You can go ahead and color in your elf's hair again you pick your own choice of hair color. Hair can be all kinds of colors. It could even be blue hair. Whatever color you would like your elf hair to be, you use that color. And you can also pick your choice of elf skin color. Pick any color to color in your elf's skin. Once you're done, your lovely elf 
perfect for Christmas is done. I'm Ms. Arcastic, and that's the end of this episode. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And for more art lessons, 100 exclusive art lessons, make sure that you check out my course, 100 Cartoons for Kids. The link is in the description of this video, and it's 100 exclusive drawing tutorials, premium drawing tutorials for kids. You can use it as a course for at home if you're a kid. You can follow along with any medium or if you're a teacher, you can use it as your directed drawing program in your classroom for obviously an entire year because you have 100 drawing videos to choose from for your classroom. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video and comment with ideas for things that you want me to draw in future drawing tutorials. I'm always open for ideas. So comment with things that you want me to draw and let's make some art. Thank you.